hours before event time with One FC founder and CEO Victor Kui. How are you, sir? Very good, man. Good to see you here. Lovely to be here. So tell us your feelings. Man, this is uh, Malaysia is insane. It's been hyped. We've been in the papers every single day on television, on radio. This place is going to be sold out. You should take a pan shot of this whole entire stadium because it's awesome, and uh, we're we're, we're going to be packed. And the crowd here, oh, well, that's probably a good shot right now. Take a mm. look at that. That's a fantastic shot. That's just I, I admire your taste. So. We we coordinated that just for you, and it's exclusive for you right now. I mean, a Samurai Life exclusive. At the cutting edge of fight spot journalism. <laughs> Hello, ladies. That's what MMA is about, right there. <laughs> no, we got we got a great night plan. It's a great way to, to kick off uh, 2012 for us with um, uh, an event here in Malaysia with a strong sp uh, sponsor and partner like Toon Talk, who have taken it to a whole different level. You know, they're activating everywhere. You're seeing they took out billboards and, and lamppost banners, and they're sponsoring fighters. And we're working with them to launch an entire nine events amateur series here in Malaysia so we're gonna be doing one FC basically all year long here in here in Malaysia and we'll be here with this big event twice a year oh, fantastic now as the promoter you've got to maintain an air of neutrality but who do you think will win between Eric Kelly and Honorio Benario yeah you know man everybody Can you answer yeah sure sure I'll answer I think overwhelmingly the the odds, the odd, the uh, odd setters and better betting books have been putting Kelly as a, as the favorite. I think the last one I saw was something like uh, a six to one favorite or something like that. So heavily, and that's fair. I would I would say to say the momentum is definitely more on on Eric Kelly's side. He's had some tougher fights, but Anario, you know, you see him. He's got a um, he's got a, a height reach, a height advantage, and a reach advantage. Uh, to him, and he's you know he's mentally had a lot tougher training partners and a tougher training camp than Eric has because he's up in Team Lakai and he's got a lot of champions there to train with. On the downside of it, he had a very tough time making weight. Anario, um, you know, he had a tough time. So we'll have we'll have to see how how that affects him and that works in Kelly's advantage. Mm. We're excited to see the return of Gianni Suba. He made quite an impact in his last one fighting championship appearance. Yeah, Gianni, is, he's got a big fan following here, and what's unique about him is not only is he young, you know, great, great victory of beating a Singaporean, but his family is very, very supportive of him, you know, and that's, that's a rare thing to be an Asian guy, Asian family, his father, you know, sent him off to Thailand to train, and his brother trains, and excuse me, and supports him, and his mom comes out to the weigh-in, and it's just like, it's a really big family affair. Yeah, and speaking of returns, Adam Shogun Kayum returns. That's right. After following sure. the birth of his daughter Layla. Yeah. He must be pretty excited for that after his last victory over Gregor Gracie. Yeah, you know, I mean, after his last win, which uh, I predicted was going to be a great fight, and um, he said, let me, give me some time to focus on my family. And I understand that. I'm a family man. And I said, all right, Adam, go do it. Do what you do. Enjoy your fatherhood. It's a magical time. When you're ready, you can come back. And... I kept him in the loop, said, you know, this is our timeline to come to Malaysia. I really want to see you on the card. And he was ready. Yeah. He doesn't disappoint. Never. Yeah. Proven caliber. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Malaysian tournament? And do you have any plans for future tournaments following this one? Yeah, this, this template of the Malaysian and uh, crowning a Malaysian 1FC national champion is what we are essentially going to do in every single country that we go to. So from China, India, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, like we will start to crown these national champions because not only does the sport need it uh, and each country need it, but it's a great way for us to um, uh, build a, a stronger storyline and momentum to support that uh, Malaysian community and the Malaysian MMA or that country's um, budding talent. Uh, you're a man with direction. Well, it seems we've lost the lights anyway. All right. Uh, that'll, that'll do perfectly. I'll come, I'll come Thank closer. you. <laughs> Victor Kui, 1FC CEO. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks, man. Cool. All right. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, get, hit up Lawrence to get your media credentials because he's going to have to. Uh, yeah. He's 